So now you've got this on top of this. And don't forget, you can't fly it without this. And don't forget, you need a remote controller to fly. Huh? Mavic Mini doesn't seem that mini anymore. My name is Xavier, also known as Drone X Factor. I'm a drone enthusiast, a hobbyist, as well as a commercial drone operator, YouTuber, and the list goes on and on. Today, guys, I'm going to solve all of those problems for you. And I'm going to show you a hidden gem in the DJI Mavic Mini that nobody's talking about yet or taking advantage of. Now to show you this gem, we need to deep dive into your controller for your DJI Mavic Mini. See that little play button underneath your uh, your shutter? You just hit the play button. Now in this menu, you have access to all of your videos and your photos right here. Uh, you can switch it to videos. Now you see videos are on the line. And then the next uh, setting is photos. You have access to all the photos that you took. So let's click on a, on a photo. Now if you look at these photos, it says not downloaded. At the top right, the blue button that says select, you just hit those uh, buttons that says select. You'll see batch select pops up. And now you can tap on each single photo and then just hit download now just for a little bit of fun let's also download a video too i did snap a uh, shoot a lot of videos and uh, let's look for a nice one i'm going to hit this little download button right here and download this video uh, it takes a little bit of time for your video to download the videos are a little bit larger especially if you like videos like me i shoot in 2.7k if you shoot in two in if you shoot in 1080p then it'll be a lot faster a lot smoother on the download let's go back start with one of the pictures first that I've downloaded I've downloaded all of these pictures uh, if I just hit the edit button right here which is this little scissors you see that little scissors right there bang guys this is where the magic begins go ahead and remove your controller literally you can power your drone off you don't need your drone anymore pack it away put it up you've downloaded your photos and your videos to your smartphone and now if you want to add some magic you want to add some spice you want to add some pizzazz to your stuff let's deep dive I have a photo look at this I can cut this photo it's actually in a timeline that means I can play this photo like a video now you're probably thinking why would I want to play a photo right well check this out now bear in mind you can flip your phone into portrait mode and edit in portrait if you prefer to edit in portrait but for the purpose of this video let's keep things in landscape because well that's how the video is being made in landscape for YouTube so on the on the start on the top right where it says tone and we're going to work our way down so let's go to tone with tone some of you this is the only setting that you're gonna have to use for a photo right because now you can see the brightness I can dull the photo and bright the photo just by sliding and guess what if I hit apply to all all the photos that I took I can brighten them all up at the same time although I don't recommend you do that so you can brighten it up or dull it up if you want which is pretty cool and then there's contrast some people were complaining that the photo is a little too contrasty and look guys this is just a slider literally just on your phone I mean within the DJI app and your drone's not even connected like come on the contrast I kind of like this you see a lot more details on the ground I'm gonna leave it somewhere here and of course some of you will love this feature the most and will only come here for this feature only which is the saturation the saturation is what gives your photo color punch saturation so I'm just gonna bump it up so you can see look at that I mean this is ridiculously over colored and then you can bring it down all the way to black and white just with the push of a slider so it was kind of a cloudy day there I'm just gonna saturate it a little bit and then there's temperature you can change the temperature if you like cool or you like Oh, I kind of like this look this kind of nostalgic look and I'll go back and then I'll bump the saturation up a little bit with this look I kind of like that I actually I like the original photo but you know it's all preference 
you can mess around with this stuff. So you've got temperature, you've got saturation, uh, vignetting. That means you can put like a, you know, a little grayish graying around the corners. I'm not a fan of that. And of course, very important tool, sharpening. Some people were saying that the image looks a little uh, over sharpened or a little dull. Here you go, as you sharpen it, make it really sharp. Or you can dull it down and make it kind of gloomy. Or just keep it the way it was, right? So there you go. When you're finished, to the bottom right, you just hit that little check mark. And you just apply those settings to that particular image. And of course, you can play the image and have it play into a video. Now check out the next features over here, right? Now you've got Zoom. Right below Tone, which we just reviewed, now you have Zoom. When you come here, that's when things get really cool. Check out this one, Zoom. How would you like your picture to play like a video zooming in? How cool is that? Then you have Zoom Out. You can reverse it where it zooms out to add an effect. You can scroll to the left. Add some nice pizzazz to a picture. You can scroll to the right. I, I like this left scroll for some reason. It's kind of a reveal. Actually, I like the zoom. Actually, I like the zoom in. Oh, boy. You know what? Maybe I'll get a little bit of both. So I'll hit the check. I'm using the zoom in. And next feature I'll come to will be copy. When I hit copy, look at the yellow timeline at the bottom. Boom. Another one pops up. So now not only do I have one, but I just copied another one, right? So look at it play now. Now guess what? I can edit this one individually. Look how easy it is to slide. You just take your finger and you slide between the clips or tap the one on the left, tap the one on the right, okay? Now to edit the one on the right, I'll go into the zoom and I'll make it a slides and I'll hit the check mark. So now I will go from a zoom to a slide which is kind of cool. Or I can just hit this plus button that's in yellow at the bottom here. And how about this? Add another photo or add another video, anything that I have downloaded. So I know this photo doesn't really match, but I'm gonna add this, right? And I'm gonna take this one out. See that? You can add, you can delete just by hitting, once you highlighted it, you can hit delete, you can hit copy, you can see, zoom you can even tone it you can do what you want good now for this new picture that i added i will go back to the zoom and i will have this one scroll to the left so now slide over to the beginning hit the play button that's on the picture wow look at that you can compile multiple things now i can even hit that plus sign and add the video just heck throw the whole thing in and make it not only a photo but make it a video to add the photos to the videos and then voila I mean guys this app is so easy to use did I mention your drone doesn't even need to be on great now it's finished transcoding the video that took a little time but hey you can do this while you're on the bus you're on the train you're traveling anywhere and boom I just added the video uh, <laughs> We'll get into the video a little bit later, right? If you're a video kind of a geek or a nerd, but let's stick it and keep it very simple with the photos for now. So <clears throat> we went through the tone, the zoom, the copy, the delete, right? All of this falls under this bracket right here. Next comes music. I mean, you can add music. Just pick a song. Uh, let's go with something cheerful. You have different themes, uplifting. Let's go with cheerful or pop, call on me. You can play the song, whoops, wrong button over there. So call on me, you play it. Walk about. I kinda like call on me, let's hit use. We have it in the clip over there, let's hit play. How about that? All right, when you finish, you can add some spark. I mean, you can put these filters on. Look at the colors change in the video, in the photo. Oh, I kind of like that. 
Look at the original. Look at that. That kind of has a nice... That's too dark. This is nostalgic. I mean, guys, this app is so fun. This app is so much fun. I like that look. I'm going to keep that there. And then when I'm finished, I can add some text. All right? Or I can put a sticker. It's optional. I can put a sticker like this. They have a whole bunch of selections. I'm not really a sticker type of person, but I will add a title. And the title will say, by Xavier. There you go. Maybe I'll use this one. And you can just pick whichever one you like. Uh, if you switch to a video, let's highlight the video over here. Now you can cut the video. You can cut out parts that you don't want. So it all depends on what you're looking for. Um, you can do the same thing. You can tone it with the videos. You can and you can do color the videos just like you can color the photos. Uh, you can speed up the clip. Look at the video, how it's moving. You can apply that to all or just hit the check mark and do that one particular one. You can reverse a clip. So... I'm just going to cut a piece of the clip out here. I'll cut another piece right here. Cut. And highlight this little piece. And that's the one that I'm going to reverse. There you go. Now, this particular uh, section right here, this clip that I don't want, I just slide. I look for the delete button. Bam. And it's gone. Keep my video nice and short. And the beauty is slide over. Widen it out if you want. Make it small. This is really easy to use. I just play and I get a preview of what I want. <clears throat> what separates this editor from the others, because DJI does have other editors on their other uh, apps, like the Go4 app, is that this is the best part. Not only is it simpler and much easier to use and feature packed, but when at the top right, when you see that export button, like a little box with an up arrow, just hit that now you get to select the resolution do you want to select do you want to do it in 720 or do you want to do it in 1080p I recommend 1080p because that looks great for social media hit continue this is the best part guys not only can you share it on Facebook Instagram WhatsApp TikTok, and sky uh, sky whatever vector whatever is the name of the app the DJI owns but you can hit those three little buttons and you can share it on YouTube, right? You can share it to your photo album. You can share it to your Facebook story. You can share it to your drive, to Messenger, to Gmail. You name it. Twitter, you can share it all there. Now, I'm just going to do WhatsApp because that's simple and easy. So I'm going to hit that WhatsApp. I'm going to hit Xavier Production and Media. That's my other phone. And I'm going to share it to myself, the entire video, just by hitting the green checker point and guys this is the beauty about this app when you do this with the other drones and you try to share content that you've created on your smartphone it creates a link it shares a link on whatsapp it shares a link on facebook that people click on and then it takes you to dji's sharing app or or cloud-based thing to view it nobody wants that when you create something, you want to be able to share it right away. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on there. And guys, I have not even left the DJI app. Right? On top of that, it does just what the other drones do too, which is save it in your album. So you can go to your album if you want and share it on many other places as well. and have fun too I don't even need to walk with my laptop I don't have to worry about registering I don't have to worry about drone laws I can just use my good judgment fly safely fly responsibly and you guys can do it too guys do me a big favor and share this video share this video 
with everyone. Share it in your Facebook, share it in your WhatsApp, share it if anyone that you know who's possibly into drones. Hit subscribe and guys hit that bell icon so you can get notified when I release more DJI Mavic Mini videos because I'm loving this little thing. I'm having fun with this little thing. And every time I find out something, you will be the first to know. Big shout out to DJI for really taking the time and the thought into what beginners really need from a drone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Still giving away six DJI Mavic 2 Pros or Zooms. Head over to my Patreon account, donate a dollar, become a patron, and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones. Guys, let's make this happen. Come on, support me and help me support you.